wear a disguise when I come here from now on, because uh, this is my second time speaking tonight. Uh, you know, so I have to prepare every time I come to MCC to expect to have to say something. But mashallah, I mean, it's a sign of love to me, and and I, I love uh, the brothers here. And so I've been actually just to speak just a few minutes <clears throat> uh, before we pray Salat al and I'll try to be as brief as possible because I know that the night is long and the prayer is long, and uh, uh, you know we hope that um, we'll be able to keep everyone uh, for most of the night, inshallah. Uh, but I just wanted to begin with mentioning that the Prophet sallallahu in one hadith uh, it said uh, to his sahaba, قَدْ جَاءَكُمْ شَهْرُ Ramadan." The month of Ramadan has come, شَهْرُ Mubarak, a blessed month. فِيهِ تُفْتَحُ أَبْوَابُ Jannah. It is a month wherein the gates of Jannah are opened. And it is also a month wherein the gates of hell, they are closed. And the demonic forces are detained during this month. And he also said, In this month there is a night which is better than 1,000 months. Man hurima khairaha faqad hurim. And whoever is denied the good of it, I mean the good of that night, then that person is denied. And as I say, denied all good. This, this night of Laylatul Qadr, in Ramadan we are not simply celebrating a, a fast. We are celebrating the revelation of the Quran. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said that this month is a month uh, where he revealed the Quran. Shahr Ramadan that he unzila fihi Quran. It is the month wherein he revealed the Quran. And he said that this is a month, uh, this particular month, he, he, he revealed it during a night during this month. And we know that night as later to Qadr. And he says, Inna anzannahu fi later to Mubarakah. Verily, we, we revealed it in a blessed night. But during the month of Ramadan, uh, uh, and as we know from our tradition, that later to Qadr, uh, it's really an uncertain night in many regards, as we know. But most of us, of course, we say the 27th night of the month of Ramadan because that's what the mainstream schools of Islam sort of teaches and have, have chosen. But the reality is that the tradition is less certain about when exactly the, the, month, the, the, the night of power is or later the Qadr is. Some say it's the first 10. Some days say the, the second, uh, third of the month. Some say it happens during the last 10, 10 days of the month. And then when we come to the last 10 days of the month or nine days of the month, the some say it's on the odd days of, the, of that month. Some say it happens on the even nights of that month. But regardless of what particular day late Zakatul may be, that what is, what is important that we can take from the, all the disagreements that exist about when exactly the, the night of power actually is, is that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala intended from this month and from this fast for us to, 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 to do all that we can to exert our utmost and, and show due diligence in seeking the, the effects and the reward of Laylatul Qadr. That he wants us to increase our worship because when you find those uncertainty, then you want, we just want to put all your eggs in one basket and wait to that one single night and to be we exert ourselves only on that one particular night because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants us to do good every single night of Ramadan. And most importantly, so that if we do achieve and we encounter the night of power, that we will be able to continue to do good beyond the night. Because what is truly the, the sign that one has actually encountered the night of power other than that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grants us istiqama, that he grants us the ability to continue to do good things beyond the month. That if outside of the month of Ramadan, we uh, uh, didn't pray sunnah prayers, and then in Ramadan, we, we prayed our sunnah. Then the hope is that after Ramadan, we continue our sunnah. If we didn't give charity on a regular basis before Ramadan, the hope is that after Ramadan, we will continue to give charity. If we didn't uh, uh, do many different things, whatever it may be, we didn't re re read the Quran outside of the month of Ramadan, that we should do so with the intention that after Ramadan, we will continue this practice. And so when we do continue those things outside of the month of Ramadan, that, that is the true indication that we have encountered the night of power. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to, to give us the reward and the blessing of the night of power, regardless of what night that may be, be it the 27th or any other night, but we should pray every single night as if it is potentially the night of power. 
And inshallah, with that, I will leave you uh, uh, with the, the prayer. And as stated uh, just a little while ago, after the Salat, inshallah, hopefully Sheikh Faraz will be here to, to offer a few words of advice as well. And, uh, and we hope that people don't feel overburdened by this, but it is the weekend. So take the opportunity to exert yourself a little bit more in hopes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will, will strengthen those muscles, those spiritual muscles, so that you can lift a uh, 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 heavier weight going forward in this month and uh, thereafter.